That's the issue with uh, Zen versus Pantheon. Like, but Pantheon can like Zen can beat up Pantheon one v one. It's just not if Pantheon plays the matchup correctly, then Zen can't do anything. The block's not that big of a deal. It's not like it's not like Zen's based on all auto attacks. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not like Zen's all based on one auto attack. He has a ton of auto attacks. If he blocks one, it's not going to make a ginormous difference. Was Zen overpowered before the nerf? Um, he was too strong without any items, so Tank Zen was just too big of a threat for people players. What do I want? I want a champion with who can get up in your face and then do a lot of work. Um, and Diana, Zen, and Cat will fill all three of those, so... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what I want, it's just, like, I gotta, gotta wait and see. When a new champions come out, I'll test them and be like, alright, is this, is this what I'm looking for? Why did I start Cloth and Five Pots? Uh, more armor for my lane, and also... Uh, I don't have any anything else I would normally purchase against these guys. Because if I get a Rejuve Beat, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not buying an Aegis against so much AD carries. Like, I'm going to be stacking a lot of armor against these guys. I'm going to get a Randuin, it's going to get a Thorn Mail. A Guardian Angel, whatnot. Like, there's a lot of options I can... There's, it's all armor from here on out. I did send Pantheon top. That's not. That's not as good. It'd be better if Pantheon. If we 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 swap lanes, because I think Zero can handle Pantheon better. It's surprising, he's not spearing me in the face. There it is. There's the spear. See, he has a four pot, so automatically that puts me at a disadvantage. In terms of 1v1. I can fight him, because I have a cloth armor on him, but after the cloth armor is... I mean, the four pot is just too strong. So I can't really do much against him. This is annoying. Well, at least he's pushing pushing the lane back, so I shouldn't, the creep will be coming to me eventually. But I just can't be aggressive because I don't know where the jungler is and at the same time. Um, if I'm aggressive, Pantheon can do stuff. I can find him as soon as he's under the turret, but not oh, not open, not open out in the lane. If, if we fight open uh, out in the open, his jugger can come and save him. And also, I won't have a place to back off to. I don't know what that what that blitz was, ex was expecting. Where is their jump? Who is there? Oh, it's Hecarim. There he is. Yeah, see, Hecarim's been in the upper. Jungle for a while. Lost so much health already. 
Like he deals more damage, but the lower health I am at. Like his spirits start to crit. It's so annoying. The only way to handle Pantheon is his mana pool, but even then, as you can see, he's still at half mana. I'm already out of health pots. Like this, this would be so much easier if I was against Zed. But Panther is just too much disengaged for me. He's been pretty, pushing pretty hard, so he should be a pretty open gank. He doesn't have any wards either. Usually when someone goes pot, a 4 pot and 4 pots, they don't have any wards, so you have to punish them by ganking. So if your jungler doesn't come, tell them. Stun him, please. Missed. This guy's, this guy's so... I knew he was going to try to 4-pot bait, but as long as he dies, it's fine with me. But yeah, this Elise was way too impatient. She should have waited to use her stun. She just blindly threw the stun out and then lo and lost it. I don't know why she didn't just go in. She should have just kept fighting him. You can't dodge damage with Elise up in the air. Oh, armor. I you waited to flash because I needed my E to be off cooldown. If I flashed, I'm not gonna do anything with it until my E's up, so it's better to into flash, catch him off. Alright, so his four pots down. Let's see if we can make a play. Man, I'm still behind in terms of CS. Yeah, this is why it's not good to blind pick Zin into a matchup. If he gets denied, he gets denied really hard. So. Did I just get creep locked? Yes, I did. I just got creep locked. Whatever. I'm just gonna freeze this lane. There's really nothing for me to buy. But that was a good play on at least. That was a good job on Elise's part, going back to uh, continue the gank. Because he doesn't have any wards. He bought a ward, but he never put it down. It's too busy last hitting to put it down. So by that, even though I don't, I won't have a goal advantage on him, I will have a level advantage on him. As you can see, I'm freezing the lane-ish. Once I have the lane frozen, he can't really do much. And again, he's going to have to put wards down, otherwise Elise is going to gank him. Especially now that he's this pushed. Gotta shove this a little bit, it's starting to push up. Oh, what? Ha ha ha, he went to go kick the bot. I'm just gonna keep this frozen. Pantheon was only able to gank bot because his ult was up, but now that it's down and he's all the way at bot, I don't really have to worry about him too much. Just gonna keep getting this level advantage on him. Spears all day. 
and he's still shoving the lane. His, I forgot his shield would come up as soon as he pops it, um, as soon as he pops his uh, stun. But yeah, like I said, if you could only fight people under the turret, and he went under the turret. I don't know how he damaged me, but somehow he damaged me, and he got t creep uh, turret aggro or something. Oh, I'm missing easy CS, even when I'm trying to push it. What? I didn't even see the health on it. He's up. He might have his jump up, so I'm gonna back off right here. It's a little bit dangerous. How are my other lanes doing? Oh look, we have the same items now. Wonderful. I guess I caught up in terms of CS. I mean, in terms of gold. Uh, to the mods right now, um, a lot of people have been requesting... I don't know how to set it up, so if you guys can help me out, that'd be cool. Um, like, for example, setting up an exclamation mark... exclamation mark, um, like, runes, masteries for cat, as in just the basic few champions I play would be cool beans, I'm not too sure how to set that up, but... Oh, you're sick right now? Yeah, I'm sick too. Everyone's like, drink a lot of water. Okay, I'll drink my water. What's this Pantheon doing? Miss man. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot his flashes up. Whatever. No biggie. Oh shit. I gotta shove this right here. So I'm guessing our bot lane lost, and uh, because of that, it's, it's starting to spill out to mid lane. Eventually it's going to come to top lane as well. Let's see if we can take this. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight me 1v1. I think I can kill him if I make the right place. Oh no, wait, there's Gianna. Fuck, I hit the wrong target. God. Oh, I'm out of mana. I'm dead. Doesn't matter. Got the turret. But yeah, our guess I'm bot lane got crushed or something. Yeah, zero four. So there's just again it's spilling out to other lanes. Like freaking Gianna stop. If Janna's top, you know something's up. That heal. Ah! Ha! Ha! <laughs> what was that? How'd that even happen? Did he just ghost? He just ghosted. He really wants that. How does you how does he miss those slows? Is this is like the range really small or something? Can't tell. I'm gonna shove this pretty hard. Nice. 
Yeah, Hecarim thought he could fight our 1v1, but no, she had red buff and she was at full on health. I don't know what he was expecting. I should be able to shove another lane down. I think I saw Pantheon mid, so I'm gonna shove this one and back off. Yeah, there he is. damage item. I'm gonna be stacking armor now after this. Oops. Not too sure who I should be zoning out now. Oh, nice try. Ah, oh, he's getting slowed by the plants so he can't catch. That's hilarious. Where's my ult? There it is. There we go. <sighs> mm, they need another auto attack. There's no way he's there. He should be in our jungle area. Either he disappeared, disappeared. Oh, there he is. Yeah, called it. Called it. I said jungle area. Because the thing is, we he walked up. If he walked up this way, they would have seen him. Well, you guys are not. Uh, that's so depressing. Give it up. You guys make me sad. He's not gonna kill him. Maneuver around it, that's so dumb. There we go. That's so weird. I was trying to maneuver around the trap, but I just walked into it. My clicking my clicking accuracy is terrible. And honestly, if I just walked straight into the trap, I would have been in range to knock Caitlyn up and it really have, wouldn't have made a difference. And there goes her. I'm gonna peace out here. Can't be disabled. Wow. Health, health, health. Where is the health? Where is. Oh, this is so annoying. Here it is. Okay. okay. Healing spree. Man, that Hecarim's. Trying to steal our blue buff? Yeah, he was. Oh, look, I got double buff. Wonderful. It's everything I ever wanted. Somebody tell the parent to stop hurting so much. There you got it. There it 
sure is uh, too late now. I'm long gone. Not Chinese, I'm Taiwanese. Um, I don't really mind too much, but unfortunately there's this um, historical hatred between Chinese and Taiwanese people because Taiwanese feel as if Chinese oppressed them and uh, China feels like Taiwan belongs to them and so um, there's just this kind of despise between both of them. I don't really mind because I, I grew up in California so there are Chinese people and Taiwanese people everywhere so all of my, a lot of my friends are Chinese. But uh, I have to say I'm Taiwanese otherwise people would get mad. Taking turret damage? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah, here comes up and peace out here. My face isn't really masculine. Uh, I guess I still kind of have my baby face. I don't really know, but. I mean, that's typically how Asians, or some Asians are. Might need a stubble. <laughs> I'll pass. screwed now because they're all they're all in position to fight them shit yeah if they're all top I might as well just push bot down they should have just backed out earlier Pantheon's gonna ult that yep there it is Shove this down. Just want to send him back. Let's get this free turret. Yeah, Zeke and V Man, uh, they sent viewers to me the other day. They're nice, they're really nice kids. I mean, very nice people. He ulted me back into the thing. Oh man, if only I had... If only I had my Yomus. Too bad. Or if I critted... I don't think I critted a single time there. That was a good on Zen. Oh shit. Where's Zed?
only reason why we're ahead in terms of like why it seems like we're ahead is only because we're ahead in terms of gold because we have so many objectives we've taken well they've only taken out the outers we've taken out one inner in here and we've taken baron and we also have taken dragons so that's the only reason why we're ahead if we don't group up they're just going to keep taking advantage of us and they're going to kill us eventually Seven seconds on Baron. Huh. Miss your grab gap. They're chasing. Ugh. That's, such a, that's so annoying. turn that around like they stayed way too long and like honestly if you see your if your enemy sees that one of you're missing one of the teammates they're going to go in on you they're gonna force play that was a very nice stun oh but um they saw at least top and they're like oh shit let's fight this it's a 4v5 and so they did and then they just killed our blitzcrank and zero who didn't do anything so they should have backed off as soon as blitzcrank missed his grab earlier so that was bad play on my teammates part luckily they were able to turn it around though game after shit i forgot i was gonna play an arm with you guys the other day yeah remind me to play an arm with you guys um at the end of the stream i forgot yesterday when i said i was going to what happened yesterday oh yeah i was i didn't eat dinner yet so i was like oh, shit i gotta go all right that's why where's the hammer deer I told you, I'll do it on my smurf, dude. Are you still split pushing out? Like, this guy, whenever he gets a lead, he just starts making dumb plays. Like, oh, let's split, let's push by myself. I say that, but like, and I'm split pushing by myself too, but I'm doing it safely. I, like, I know that they're not going to try to kill me, but she just walks straight up to them. Like, as you can see here, I'm backing off. Or I'm not backing off, I lied. Hold up. Jumping, there it is. Ugh. People need to like back off. <laughs> like people just walk up and then I have to do stuff. Because I didn't really want to I didn't want to fight that. He ghost that? It blocks true damage. They're not gonna catch them. Oh no! Never mind. Damn! I didn't even think <laughs> Caitlyn was all the way in there. Wow! Get caught. 
Yeah. He's in this bush right here. Or he backed off. Yeah, he backed off. He's trying to 3v1. He's dead. I'm gonna shove top. This Ezreal just isn't where he's needed, and at the same time, at the same time, Elias just keeps going in by herself. So they both of them made made a mistake. Either Ezreal should have kept going to help out Elise, or Elise should have just backed off when she saw that Ezreal wasn't there to help. Like it's all about communicate. It's not just about communication. It's also about watching the map and knowing what's going on. Also, if Ezreal landed that ultimate, I think that would have ch changed everything. Fully stacked yet? No, I still need two more. Ooh, I see a Caitlyn. Hoop, that's a really nice word right there. Are you sending people top? Yeah, I'm backing off. See, normally at least would have kept, would have just kept going, but I'm backing off because I don't know where the rest of the enemy team is. I only see, I only know that Caitlyn is at our top. I don't know if Pantheon might be holding top or whatever. Got it, but that was really annoying because um, I couldn't get my knockup on her. If I got my knockup, she would have died, and I wouldn't have had to do that. Oh well, I have a lot of gold. I should pick up something. Oh, nice! This turret's almost down. Let's nice try. Alright, that's a free GA for me. Yeah, they're shoving really hard. <laughs> that's not good. That's a 5v4 right there, and they got a really good initiate. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Well, nicely done. There goes the GA. Over here. Oh, you got him. I'm just gonna shut bot. I can't, there's no way I can catch a what's her face. But I even killed Pantheon. Oh, I got slowed by something. Oh. Just take the, take this, take it. Because uh, Hecarim's up. I have my ult that doesn't gauge, so I think we're fine. Pick up some crit. Pick up some crit. Hopefully, I can kill people easier that way, and then see what we can do from there. We don't even have a pink on that. Well, wow. she's taking it to half by herself. Jesus, that bill is ridiculous.
We just force a fight right here. We have a huge advantage. Man, I'm right here as well. Why am I going after Pantheon? He's not even... Oh shit, that was an excellent knock-up. No, like, I know she didn't even know I was gonna do that, but she... That was really well timed. Alright, let's shove this. I don't think you can kill him. Just too tanky. Yep. Thorn mail. <laughs> Yeah, his Spirit of the Dread procs anything, anything procs, everything procs uh, Elder Lizard, I mean the Spirit of the Elder Lizard. Anything aside from damage over time spells, like Mazahar's Q, I mean uh, W or E, whatever it is. Yeah, I guess I'll just back off. Or not, screw it. Creep lock, creep lock, creep lock. Alright, let's just end this. <laughs> just gotta do everything yourself. Uh.